Welcome once again, ladies and gentlemen, and welcome to the Valley High School at Arena Price Simpson Court. At this time, I'd like to introduce the starting lineups. First of all, for our guests, the Archers of Fort Wayne Southside. Starting guard, a five foot nine inch freshman, number four, Javon Irving. Starting guard, a five foot eleven inch senior, number ten, Kadel Wallace. Starting at guard, a six foot one inch junior, number 13, Demarcus Barr. <laughs> Starting at center, a six foot seven inch sophomore, number zero, Zach Belcher. <laughs> and at forward, a six foot one inch junior, number one, Javier White. <laughs> the archers are coached by JJ Foster, assisted by Barrett Johnson and Carlos Wallace. The junior high players of the week for this week are sixth grade Charlie Briardi and Brock Adamson. For seventh grade, Ethan Newcomer and Will Parker. And for eighth grade, JJ Cameron and Jace Davis. gentlemen we are getting ready for tip off as the archers take on the vikings in valley second game of the season and south sides first of the season And Southside wins the tip off. Pass to Javier White, back to Javon Irby. <clears throat> Fidel Wallace passed. DeMarcus Barr shoots. And Belcher shot it, missed it. Heavy defensive contest in the early going of this game. Rebound by Steven Akase. And Akase passes to Davis Cowan. Cowan looking for an open man. Akase fumbled it, recovered. Kyler Johnson. Hand off to Cooksey. Cooksey finds Johnson. Johnson for two. And he misses. Recovery by Irby. Irby driving down the court, passes it to White. And Wallace now passes it back to Irby. And Barr now back to Belcher. 
Wallace to Irby. Irby to Wallace. Shot blocked. Recovered. And inside the paint. Takes the shot. Misses. Recovery by Ian Cooksey. Pass to Davis. Now Davis Cowan with the ball here. Short pass over to Stephen Akase. Akase to Johnson. Johnson to Cooksey. Cooksey in the paint for two. Over Zach Belcher. And now Cadell Wallace in the paint for two. I think Coach Luce was looking for a charge there. Didn't get it. Now Gowan. Pass to Cooksey. Blocked there by Irby. Irby down to Wallace. Wallace for three. Missed the mark. Rebound by Belcher. Should have Wallace. Wallace missed the short two. Steven Akase now. Steven Akase and a kick called on Zach Belcher. And now Wes Parker comes in for Cowan. And Wes Parker throwing it in for Valley. Parker to Cooksey. Cooksey to Johnson. Johnson to Parker. Parker to Akase. And Akase now. And I believe that is a timeout called by Coach Luce for Valley. And we'll be back in 30. And we are back from that timeout. Scores 2-2 two to two with 4.47 left in the first quarter. Chase, what do you think of the game so far? I think it's great. I mean, it's a very fast-paced game. I did notice everyone on south side's a little bit on the shorter side, which probably means they're shooters, but they do have that one real tall guy. Um, so, I mean, I'm expecting a lot of shooting, uh, which they have been doing, but they've also drove the ball a lot. So, yeah, I expect a lot of shooting from this game. I expect a great defensive game. I mean, we've seen that in the first three and a half, three, three or so minutes of this game. It's been very defensive as Davis Cowan's going to bring it in for Valley. He throws it to Cooksey. Cooksey takes it back to Cowan. Pass to Akase. Akase to Cowan. Cowan to Akase for the alley-oop. Now Wallace, he passed it to Belcher. Belcher in the paint, missed the shot. Rebound by Akase. Akase tosses it down to Cowan. Cowan now. And Akase for two. Missed the short two. Recovers. And he makes it there. 6 2 Valley. And now Wallace going to take it up court. Passes it to White. White with the pass to Irby. Irby to Barr. Barr to Wallace. To Irby. And trying to find some open space. I think he just let go of that. They're going to get a jump ball here. And that's going to be Valley's ball. And Kyler Johnson going to bring it in for Valley here. Cooksey to, Dave, Cooksey to Cowan, excuse me. And he's going to find DeAndre Hamilton wide open. Looking for Akase. Good defense there by Wallace. Now Irby up the court. Found. Wallace unintentionally. Belcher in the paint. Blocked by the... And he threw that into the student section for Valley. And 
DeAndre Hamilton gets hammered there. I was going to say, yeah, he took a beating down there. And he's going to get two free throws. I got to say, this is the fastest team I've seen. South and south side, I mean, everyone on here is quick. When they try to lob it up, when DeAndre passed it to Steven, I mean, they were quick with it. Came out of nowhere. I wasn't prepared for that. Yeah, Takase is a tall guy coming in at 6'6". Yeah, 6'6". Six, six. Six, six. Yes. And, I mean, like you said earlier, Southside's got a disadvantage with the shorter yes. shorter guys, but they got the jump on the ball there and mm -hmm. were able to do something with it. But now Hamilton set up for his second free throw. And he's two for two. Now DeAndre is 100% on field goals, which is very is nice. Incredible, obviously. And they're going to get a travel there on Taylon Davis. And Johnson going to bring it in here. And a right <laughs> over his might be 6'6", six, six, but he's not that tall. Well, this uh, is the second time, I think. I think they're expecting it, but he just, he just can't get it every time. Well, Davis put a little too much mustard nice. on that there, and uh, Steven just wasn't able to get on it. Now Wallace taking it up the court. Passes to Bragg, and Davis with the rebound there. Blocked by Cooksey. He passed Johnson for three, no good. And Ooh. they could have had, a, had an excellent play there, but Javante Bragg did not get uh, possession of that and just went out of bounds there. It was a good defensive stop from Southside, but they could not capitalize. And now Hamilton brings it in. Hamilton to Cowan. Cowan finds Cooksey. Cooksey trying to find Parker. And Irby with the fast break, too. Excellent play there by Javon Irby. And Parker trying to get out of his own half of the court. And Akase, an excellent catch there. And they're going to get a travel call on Akase. I think he tried to do a Euro step, but just had too many steps there. And now Taylon Davis going to bring it in for Southside. And Wallace going up court now. Trying to find anything here. And Irby missed the three. Hamilton passes to Parker. Parker to Cooksey. Cooksey to Cowan. C Cookie. Cooksey to Cowan. And Cowan to Cooksey. Cooksey can't find anybody. Finds Parker. Ripped away from White. And White to Irby. Irby to Bragg. Bragg in the paint. And they're going to get a foul there. And Bragg took a big fall there. And Bragg is going to get two free throws here. And he made his first one. DeMarcus Barr re-enters for Southside. Steve Bragg can go two for two here. And he missed it. Rebound by Akase. Akase to Cowan. Cowan up court, finds Parker. And Hamilton gets shoved down. What are they going to call there? I think they're just going to, you know, I'm not 100%. Bar, Bar on the foul there. And he finds Hamilton, finds Akase, Akase smothered, makes it! And now Wallace going up court. And Irby to Barr, 
And that's going to be Valley Ball. Miscommunication there from Southside. And now Cowan, he's going to try and find anybody. Finds Hamilton. Hamilton gives it to Parker. Parker to Akase. Akase to Cooksey. Cooksey for three. Misses. Rebound by Akase. And it's a. And we got a struggle for the ball, and it's going to be south side ball on that jump ball call. Taylon Davis set to bring it in. And Belcher comes in for Javon Irby. And Kyler Johnson comes in for DeAndre Hamilton. Taylon Davis passes it to Wallace. And screen from Belcher and Wallace. And good defense there by Valley. Cooksey recovers, passes it to Cowan. Cowan back to Cooksey. 28 seconds left in the first quarter. And he was trying to find Wes Parker. DeMarcus Barr. Travel called. 22 seconds left in the first quarter. The score is 10 to five Valley. As Johnson set to bring it in. Cowan finds Akase. Akase in the paint. Passes to Cooksey. Cooksey to Parker. Cooksey, or Parker to Cowan, excuse me. Eight seconds left. Tries to find Akase. And a struggle here. And I think they're going to get a reach in on Akase. Two seconds left in the first quarter as Bragg set to bring it in. And DeAndre Hamilton comes in for Steven Akase. As if they want to get points out of here, they're going to need a miracle with two seconds left in this first. And it's out of bounds. Point nine seconds left. Cooksey going to bring it in here. Ref's discussing something. And all they really need to do is just bring the ball into the court and the first quarter will end. They're going to heave it deep. And that's the end of the first. And we'll catch you when the second quarter begins. And we are back, and that first quarter was a pretty low-scoring quarter. Only 10-5, to 5, Valley with the lead. Uh, like I said earlier, I expect a very defensive battle, and that's exactly what it has been so far in this game. Um, Steven Akase leading with six points. He's excellent in the paint. He's an excellent defender. He's just a really good all-around player. Um, what are your thoughts, Chase? I mean... A lot of beatings. I mean, DeAndre Hamilton took two beatings, got the two fouls, and in my opinion, was worth it. He got two free throws, made both. Um, great teamwork. Something I heard Coach Luce did say was set up the screens. I mean, they're all big guys, and this team, is, like I said, was a lot littler than them. Set up the screens, make the shots. It's, it seems simple in concept, but yes. try doing it in a fast-paced game like basketball, mm, and it becomes yes. a lot harder to do. As Talon Davis... Oh, excuse me. I was on the wrong side of the court. Ian Cooks is going to bring it in. He passes it to Davis Cowan. Cowan to Akase. Akase to Cowan. And Akase with a nice screen. Finds Cooksey. Cooksey for two. Makes it. Never mind. That was three. I didn't see it from this angle. And Bragg passes to Belcher, and he is smothered. That was tipped and rebound by Bragg. A crazy a fight for the ball. Dude. Just a scuffle for the ball. Akase stumbling on the recovery there as Belcher with the rebound 
And good defense oh there my. by Davis Cowan. Wow. That game, or this game just got a huge surge of energy within 20 seconds. That was the most running I think I've seen in this game. As Wallace with the pass to Belcher. Misses. We're jo Johnson on the rebound. Johnson to Cooksey. And you're going to get a travel call on Ian Cooksey. Try to pass it to Johnson, but stepped forward just for getting the foul. As Demarcus Barr set to bring it in here. And I got to say, this early on in the season, both these teams look very well rounded. I mean, Valley has a bit of a lead here, but they're still in the early going of this game. And like I said, this is Southside's first game. This is Valley's second. So Valley's had a little more time uh, to get used to competition here. And I think they're going to get a shove on Akase, I believe. 13, never mind. That was DeAndre Hamilton. And Bragg. Thought they were going for free throws there. Wallace set to bring it in. And that's Davis and Bragg. And this is an aggressive in the paint scuffle. And Akase rebound. Down to Cowan. Cowan to Johnson. And Cowan for two. Misses. Rebound by Hamilton. Misses. Johnson with the rebound. And he misses it. Akase with the rebound. And he misses it. Gets blocked there. Rebound by Davis. Davis to Bragg. And Cooksey there. And Southside thinking there should have been a reaching foul on Akase, but no call there. Cooksey down to Cowan. Cowan trying to find an open lane. He's in the paint. Shoots it, misses. Rebound by Cooksey. And Wallace on the fast break. And he makes it on the pick and roll. And Kyler Johnson wide open. And I think Johnson had a wide open play there. And that's going to be called on Taylon Davis. And Kyler Johnson going to be set up for free throws here. And Johnson swishes the first one. Javier White. Javier White subs in. And Blaine Sheets subs in here. And Johnson is two for two on free throws. And Wallace now with the ball. Looking for an open man. Finds nobody. And Parker. And Wallace takes the two and he drills it. And Hamilton brought it out or brought it in. And Parker can't find anybody. Finds Hamilton. Hamilton looking for sheets and just a little over his head. And south side ball. And Avier White bringing it in. Score 15 to 9 with five minutes left in this first half as Wallace goes up the court. He sends Barr in motion. Wallace looking for it and he drilled it. 15 to 12. And just like that, the script has flipped here. Valley still with the three-point lead, but as of right now, Southside is winning this quarter. And I'm McCartney Wright with RTC TV4 along with Chase Howard. We will be back in 30 seconds. And we are back here 
with the Tippecanoe Valley Vikings versus the Southside Archers and a close battle, 15 to 12, 4.53 left in the first half. And Parker trying to find an open man, finds Hamilton, can't do anything with it. Finds Akase, and Akase down to Johnson, Johnson to Sheets, Sheets looking for two. Johnson with the rebound, what are they gonna call here? And Johnson's gonna get two more free throws. And a high intensity, high defensive game here. Southside foul on number three, Jarius Timberlake, his first team second. Kyra Johnson at the line. And Johnson set up for the free throw. And he is three for three thus far. And Cooksey subs in for DeAndre Hamilton. And he missed it. And Sheets with the rebound. Cook pass to Cooks. He was. <laughs> and Irby with the pick and roll for two. And Cooks. He finds Parker. Parker finds Sheets. Sheets to Akase. Akase in the paint. And they're going to get a travel on Steven Akase there. And it is 16-14 as White passed it into Wallace. And he passes that to Irby. Irby back to Wallace. Wallace and White. And it's good! DeMarcus Barr ties the game up, 16-16. And Ken Valley, they've got Johnson down there to Sheets. And Cooksey in the paint, pick and roll attempted, travel called. As White brings it in for Southside. Wallace is driving up court. And he passes to Irby. And oh, good block there by Akase. And we have Cowan on Wallace. And now we got Akase on Irby. Wallace for three. Misses. Rebound by Sheets. Passes to Cowan. Cowan to Sheets. And Johnson for two. And Blaine Sheets with the assist. As now Irby's up court. Wallace finds the open man for three. Misses. Rebound by Kyler Johnson. Good defense there by Irby. Rebound or recovered by Wallace. And he's going to drive up. And he makes the two. 18 18. And he finds Cowan. Cowan to Cooksey, Cooksey to Cowan. And Cowan back to Cooksey. Cooksey, oh. Just a little too high for Kyler Johnson there. Zach Belcher, we and Zach Belcher side. comes in for DeMarcus Barr. As Javier White bringing it in. And pass up to Wallace. Wallace taking his time here. And he passes it to Irby. And Irby to Timberlake. Timberlake to White. White to Irby. And Irby to Wallace. Wallace to Timberlake. Timberlake to Belcher. Belcher finds Irby. And some aggressive play style there from Steven Akase as he passes it to Cowan. Johnson in the paint here, finds Akase. And Akase to Cowan, Cowan to Akase, back to Cowan. Yeah. 
And he finds Sheets. Sheets to Johnson. Johnson looking for the two, fakes it. Back to Cowan. Cowan to Akase. <laughs> and we're playing ring around the hosey. Rosie here. It's going to everybody on the court. And Cowan with the rebound. Trying to find an open man. What are they going to call here? And I think they're going to call. That call is going to be on Javon Irby. And Davis Cowan set to bring it in here. A minute left. Tie game in the first half. And he finds Kyler Johnson. Johnson to Sheets. Sheets to Cowan. Cowan to Cooksey. Cooksey for three. And he drills it. And just under a minute here in this first half. Wallace taking it up the court. Wallace finds Irby. Irby back to Wallace. Wallace to White and Timberlake shot the three and missed it. And just under 40 seconds left. And Cowan finds Johnson. Johnson trying to move up court and find someone or find something. And have found it in Cowan. Cowan goes to Cooksey. Cooksey to Johnson. And less than 20 left in the court in the half. And fast break by Irby. Irby makes it. And if Allen wants points here, they got to get up in three seconds. And Cooksey going to attempt it. And too much mustard on that. Valley heads into halftime with the lead by one. 21 to 20. I am McCartney Wright, along with Chase Howard with RTC TV4, and we'll be back for the second half. And we are back, and the second half should be just about underway here. Start of the third quarter in a high, well, not a high-scoring game, not a low-scoring game either. Yeah, I'd say about middle. It's about a medium game here with points scored, only 41 total. And let's see what each team can do going into this final half of this game. And south side on their side of the court. Valley heading to theirs. And here we go. Wallace. Cadell Wallace is going to bring it in here. Fourth south side. And... He finds White. White finds Irby. And Irby tried to find Belcher, but too much mustard and it rolled out of bounds there. And now Hamilton set to bring it in here. And let's see what Valley can do here. Cowan passes back to Cooksey. Cooksey finds Kyler Johnson. Johnson finds Cowan. Cowan for three. Just missed the mark. Rebound by Irby. Irby with the pass to Wallace. Wallace to Barr. Barr for three. Drills it. And Cooksey going up court. And he passes it back to Cowan. Cowan finds Johnson. Cooksey for three, missed the mark. And Belcher on the rebound, pass to Wallace. And good defense by Cooksey there, able to steal it on the pass attempt. And Cooksey looking for anything to open up. And he finds Davis Cowan. And Wallace on the fast break. And he misses it. And I believe they're going to get a foul there. And that's going to be two free throws. And now Avier White is going to attempt two free throws. And 
And White missed the mark on that first one. And White makes that one. Gives Southside a three-point lead. Cooksey passes it to Cowan. Cowan back to Cooksey. And Cooksey back to Cowan. Cowan. And they're going to get a foul on Avier White. And Kyler Johnson might have been a little shaken up there. Southside foul on number one, Avier White. His first, team's first. Finds Kase. Kase driving up. And Cooksey to Akase. Akase got nowhere to go. Cooksey now. Down to Cowan. Cowan. And that's going to be jump ball. Or no, excuse me. And Avier White set to bring it in. And White passes it into Irby. Irby finds Wallace. And Wallace to Irby. Irby to White. White to Wallace. Wallace for two. Just short of the mark. And that was a costly turnover by Ian Cooksey. And Belcher with the alley-oop slam dunk. Irby gets the assist. And Hamilton finds Johnson. And steal by Wallace. Wallace just hooked it there. Just heaved it down the court. And it's going to be a timeout from Valley. And I'm McCartney Wright along with Chase Howard with RTC TV4 and the Tippecanoe Valley Vikings. And we'll be back in 30. And we are back. 5.33 left in the third quarter. And Southside currently has a lead 26-21 over Valley. This quarter so far has just been Southside. They were down 21-20 and have gone six unanswered points. As we are back for the resuming of the third quarter. Just a few costly mistakes from Valley. A few fouls, which, you know, they don't like him. Coach Luce doesn't like him. Nobody likes a foul. And let's see if Valley can turn it around here. And Valley's ball. Plain sheets to bring it in. Sheets to Parker. Parker to Hamilton. Hamilton to Parker. Parker finds Akase. Akase to Johnson. Johnson to Akase. And he got it. And heavy coverage there. And Wallace up the court now. Pass to White. Pass back to Wallace. Sends Irby in motion. And pass over to Belcher. And Belcher to Wallace. Wallace to Belcher. And Belcher up there. And he missed. Rebound by Johnson. Johnson to Parker, and Wes Parker finds Blaine Sheets, finds Akase, Akase, he got it! He is excellent when it comes to playing in the paint. Puts Valley's, or excuse me, puts Southside's lead within one, and some heavy defense there, rebound by Akase. Kase, we're going to call. <laughs> Holding call, I think is what the call was. 
Southside foul on number one, Xavier White. His second, team second. And Wes Parker's going to bring it in for Valley. Dante Brad, along with Taylor Davis. And Jerry is Timberlake entered for Southside. Parker finds Johnson. Oh. Intercepted by Bragg. Bragg for three. No good. Rebound by Akase. Akase trying to move up court, but Barr staying with him. Akase now hits the two, and Valley takes the lead. Some excellent playing, some excellent defensive and offensive playing here from, Vi from the Vikings, especially Steven Akase. Now Bragg with the pass to Barr. Barr over to Timberlake. Timberlake to Bragg. Bragg. No good. Rebound by Akase. Akase finds Parker. Parker finds Cooksey. Cooksey for three. Valley now with the four point lead with three minutes left in the third. Cadell Wallace taking it up court. And now Barr passes over to Davis. And got some aggressive defense here. Bragg passes it to Barr. Barr, and he makes it. And he was just barely <clears throat> in that three-point range. And it's going to be stolen. And Timberlake attempted the shot. And Akase finds Sheets. Oh, and I think they're going to get a charging call on Akase. What's the call here? The rebound foul on number 23, Stephen Akase, his second, team's third. And so that's not going to count as Davis brings it in for the Archers. Wallace takes it up the court. Wallace finds Davis, and he drills it. And Southside takes the lead again with a minute 50 left in the third. And good pass from Cooksey over to Parker. And what's the call here? And uh, some discussions from the officials and the coaches. And it's going to be south side ball. Wallace. And Davis for two. Misses. And we got a scrum for the ball. Recovery from Timberlake. Passes it to Wallace. And now Irby, now Barr, up for two, no good. And... And now it's 34-30, south side, minute 15 left in the third. And passes it to Cowan. Cowan back to Parker. And stolen by Barr, Barr. Finds Hamilton, Hamilton to Cooksey. And stolen by Timberlake, and he's got it! 36 to 30, Southside. 
And Valley in a bit of a dry spell here. Finds Cooksey. Cooksey to Hamilton. Hamilton went for it, no good. Rebound by Timberlake. Timberlake to Barr. Barr. And stolen by DeAndre Hamilton. And it's gonna be a charge call on DeAndre Hamilton. Got the ball, number 13, DeAndre Hamilton, his second team's fourth. Zach Belcher re-enters for Southside. Stephen Akase for Timothy Valley. And Jarius Timberlake set to bring it in here. And the Archers can just sit on this ball and take it to the fourth with a six-point lead. Let's see if they're going to try and get some points out of this. Wallace and one. Hits the three-pointer, and I believe that is an and-one call. And a potential 10-point lead for Southside, pending the free throw from Wallace. And what from look, went from looking like a close two-point game is now ballooning into a 10-point lead. But 10, 10 point lead for Southside. And six. And it's Sheets for three. No good. And rebound by Belcher. That's the end of the third quarter. And I'm McCartney Wright along with Chase Howard with RTC TV4. And we'll be back when the fourth quarter begins. And we are back on RTC TV4 with the game versus the Southside Archers and the Tipping New Valley Vikings. Uh, Southside has a 10 point lead heading into the fourth quarter. Only eight minutes left in this game. Chase, do you think Valley has a chance to turn it around here? I think there's always a chance for everything, honestly. I've seen too many things happen that I think there's a chance. There is a chance. I mean, Valley was leading in the second, coming into the second half yes. and only scored nine points that quarter and Southside was able to score 20. So more than doubling Valley's points for that quarter. So anything can happen. Possession Valley. Valley starts this quarter with the ball. As we said, eight minutes left in regulation. And Sheets passes it in to Cowan. And screen by Akase. Finds Cooksey. Cooksey for three. Drills it. He's been excellent on three pointers. And Irby. See what Irby's looking for here. Irby to Wallace. And good screen there by Belcher. Wallace finds Timberlake for three. And he drills it. The lead back up to 10. And Cowan to Hamilton, Hamilton to Cooksey. And stolen by Timberlake, and he hits it. Now the lead is 12 for the Archers. And we are only 49 seconds into this fourth quarter. And I believe Valley has one timeout left in the game. So um, the Archers kind of running away with this one here. Yeah. I think it's just the loose balls for the Vikings. They just keep losing the ball. They don't have a. They just can't keep a hold of it. I don't know. I, I mean, think I think it's the pressure. That's what I think. Definitely. I mean, this game started off really defensive and really well, but over the last two quarters, Southside's kind of taking it away from Valley here. 
almost every chance they had. And Southside's going to start with the ball here, I believe. I think I'm incorrect. Valley is. And Hamilton going to bring it in here. Pass to Cooksey. Cooksey finds Parker. Parker to Cooksey. And it's going to be south side ball with just a little over seven minutes left in the quarter. Wallace bringing it in. And he passes it to Timberlake. Timberlake to Davis. Davis to Irby. Irby to Wallace. And Wallace passing it back to Davis. Davis drops the ball. Able to recover it. Passes it back to Wallace. And what's the call here? That's going to be on Ian Cooksey. And Wallace again bringing it in. And Davis hits for three. And Cowan now driving up court. Oh! Rough landing there from Davis Cowan. Southside foul on number 10, Cadell Wallace, his first, Chiefs first. And Wallace on the foul there. And Southside up by 15 here with six minutes and 22 seconds left in the game. And Akase finds Hamilton. Johnson to Akase. Akase to Cooksey for three. Misses the mark. Hamilton. Johnson. And Johnson up for two more free throws. And Johnson misses his first one. And he makes that one. The lead now a little shrunk, but 14. And Akase passes it to Cooksey. Cooksey to Parker. Parker to Johnson. Johnson to Parker. Parker to Cooksey. Cooksey to Cowan. And just excellent defense by Southside here. Cowan trying to find something, finds Parker and Johnson finds Akase stripped away and Wallace makes the two and Belcher and Johnson shooken up on that play and Kyler seems to be in a lot of pain here Just a rough landing, and good on Taylon Davis for helping him up. He's going to get looked at by the athletic trainer. Hopefully we'll have an update soon. Sheets going to bring it in. And Cowan passes it to Parker. Good defense by everyone on south side. Cowan. 
Finds a Kase. Kase missed the mark. And with five minutes left, South, South side up by 16. And Stephen Akase shooting two. Foul, number zero, Zach Belcher, his second, team's third. Stephen Akase at the line, shooting two. Akase makes his first free throw. And attempting the second one here. And he makes it. DeAndre Hamilton in his fourth to the Valley. And Valley down by 14. And Davis passes it out to Timberlake. Oh, they tried the alley oop, not successful. And Cooksey. Oh, rough landing for Zach Belcher. He got up there. He got hops up there, and I believe it's going to be a goaltending. And I'm just surprised he's able to get up that quick. Looked like a rough landing as Davis brings it out. And Wallace going up court. And bodies on the ground. And Timberlake passes it to Davis. Davis back to Wallace. And Wallace finds Belcher for two. Parker finds Hamilton. Hamilton loses the ball. And fast break for Wallace. Oh, and Belcher tried a little fancy work there and didn't get it. And it's going to be a foul on Taylon Davis. And Bragg coming in for Davis. Timeout, Southside, their first timeout. And the Southside Archers take their first timeout of the quarter. And we'll be back in 30. Hello, ladies and gentlemen, I'm McCartney, right along with Chase Howard, back between the contest of the Tippecanoe Valley Vikings versus the Southside Archers. Score is currently 52 to 38. With 416 left in the game. Let's see if Valley has a second spark here to turn it around. And what I thought was going to be a close defensive game has kind of ballooned into just a one-sided offensive defense from Southside and not much from Valley. As Davis Cowan brings it in and he finds Cooksey. Cooksey attempts the three, makes it. And Akase back to Cooksey. Cooksey for three, misses, and Akase, the rebound, what's the call? And that's going to be on Timberlake, and Akase is going to attempt two here. And let's see what he can do here. Makes the first one and puts him back within 10. Let's see if Steven can put him within two or three three pointers. 
Makes it. And Belcher going to bring it in. And Wallace, he finds Bragg. And I believe that was tipped out of bounds by Ian Cooksey. And Wallace bringing it in. And Wallace in the paint. Misses, rebound by Akase. Kase, he's got long legs. He can take it up quickly. And that's out of bounds. And Timberlake with three and a half minutes left in the game. Goes to Wallace. Wallace up there. Belcher with the alley-oop slam dunk. Lead within 11 now. Finds Akase. Akase in the paint. And he missed the dunk. Southside foul on number three, Jerry is to break his third. And Akase attempting two more. Missed it. Can he at least put it within 10? No, he missed it. And Cowan passes to Cooksey. Cooksey for three. Misses. Akase on the rebound. Akase loses the ball. And Akase puts it in. And that's going to be out on Valley. Wallace bringing it in here. Wallace passes to Bragg. Bragg, Bragg back to Wallace. And Timberlake for three. Misses. Out of bounds by Wes Parker. And passes over to Belcher. Belcher, hand off to Wallace. Wallace steps out. And Southside's gonna take a timeout here. And McCartney right along with Chase Howard and RTC TV4. We'll be back in 30. And we're back, two minutes and 40 seconds left. And Southside's got a nine point lead. But let's see what happens here. Anything can happen. And Hamilton going to bring it in for Valley here. Finds Cohen. It's down to Parker. Blocked by Bragg. And missed. Rebound by Akase. Down to Cowan. And Cowan for three. Makes it. And Southside up by six now. And he missed a wide open three. Rebound by Hamilton. Hamilton takes it up to Cowan da or to Davis Cowan. Oh.
And that penalty, or that foul is going to be on Jarius Timberlake. Foul, three. Jarius Timberlake, his fourth. And Davis Cowan now Davis attempting Cowan two free throws. Makes the first one. Javier White, along with Javon Irby, check in for Southside. Makes that. And Southside's lead is within four. Valley with the potential of a comeback with two minutes in this game. And Davis, it's the two! And he's trying to find an open man. And now Southside's lead is shrunk down to two in what we thought was a game that could be potentially over when they had a 16 point lead has been a huge run from Valley. Uh, unexpected. South side, unexpected. Uh, you're, that's right. And McCartney Wright with Chase Howard, uh, along with Chase Howard on RTC TV4, will be back at 30. All right, and we are back. A minute 55 left in the game. South side up by two. Let's see how this game will end. As Bragg goes to Wallace. Wallace going up the court. And that's going to be a foul. And that was on Davis Cowan there. And Bragg sending it in. If he can find someone, finds Wallace. What are they going to... And that's going to be on Cowan. A minute 46 left. And Wallace trying to find, he goes to Bragg. And it's gonna be a jump ball. And that's Valley possession. Never mind. I thought that was Valley's, but I guess not. As Wallace going to bring it in. And Irby now. A minute and a half left in the game. Passes to Wallace. They're just going to try and keep this ball. And Belcher falls down. And Bragg, that's to Belcher. And up by four. And that's going to be on Javante Bragg. West Parker now we're going to attempt two free throws. West Parker going to shoot two. Makes the first one, puts it within three. And Parker misses it. It's within three. Bragg is down and makes it and gets an and one call. And that is not what Valley wanted. And Hamilton comes in for Sheets. Right at the line, shooting one.
And he makes the free throw. And Southside up by six with a minute seven left. Uh, stolen. And Bragg bringing it in. And I believe Valley's gonna have to foul here. If they have any chance of getting this. Cadell Wallace the line shooting two. Makes the first one. And now Southside leading by seven. Makes that one. And an eight point lead for Southside. Hamilton finds Parker. And aggressive defense there by Wallace. He wanted his hands on the ball and he just slapped it out of here. And Davis Cowan bringing it in. And pass to Cooksey. Cooksey for three. Misses. Rebound by Wallace. And Wallace loses the ball. 44 seconds left. And Belcher now. They're going to get a reach in. Zach Bella, number 23, Stephen Akase, his third. Zach Belcher at the line, shooting two. Belcher makes the first one. And Belcher misses that one. Rebound by Akase. And stolen by Bragg. Bragg to Wallace. And Wallace, they're just going to try and play keep away here. And Bragg now up the court. Passes to Barr, and call is going to be on Hamilton. 9.3 seconds left. Southside leading by nine. Marcus Barr, the line shooting two. And they're going to bring in a lot of subs here. Southside is, as this game is pretty much over. Nine seconds left. Valley down by nine. Valley down by ten, excuse me. And he makes that. And Valley down by eleven. They're just... And what they're going to do here. Pass into Parker. Oh, made a kid fall. Parker and West Parker made number 22. Corte Wallace. Ball and West Parker is going to shoot for two here. Hey, hey, hey. 
And Wes Parker makes it. And he makes that one 1.9 seconds. They just need to hold on to the ball. And Southside's going to get the win over Valley 64 to 55. McCartney right along with Chase Howard and RTC TV4 signing off. Yeah.